So where we left off last was we got locked in a dark room after discovering the new game button, which previously we had to continue an existing game. So I have no idea what will be locked behind this new game button, but we're about to find out. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed, Mutant Brad. Hey, Zach! Nothing different at all. We're purging data. We're collecting data. We're, we're doing things. In the beginning, the world did not know cards. That is, until the day the scribes arrived. Oh, lower left looks a bit like stone. Each had their own method of inscription to create cards. Okay, pen or a vat of some sort. Grimora used quill to inscribe the epitaphs of the dead. Leshy used a wildlife camera to capture beasts. So we've already met Leshy then. P03 used a particle scanner to copy the CPUs of robots. And Magnificus used his brush to paint his wizard pupils. With the cards created, the scribes had solidified their power. Until one day, a challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. Is that me? <laughs> everything is normal. Everything is wonderful. Choose a starting deck to mark your ambition. Do I get to find out about them? So we just learned about them. So this was wizard pupils. This was computery type stuff. This is beasts. And this is the dead. Let's go with computery type stuff. Do I do that by walking around? I do. Let's, uh... Okay. Can I just leave? No. <laughs> Your ambition is to replace P03 and become the scribe of technology? Sure, we will take the deck. The cards were added to your collection. All right, we're in Mario. What is this? So let's see. Oh. Interesting. I didn't expect that we could go here. Woof. I was just about to call it quits out here. But now that there's a challenger in our midst, it's back to work for me. I should be able to get this bridge fixed in... Full disclosure, it'll take me exactly as long as it takes you to defeat one of those scribes. <laughs> so, uh, come back later. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, so this is... This is presumably Leshy. Okay, so these do map to the people. So this is Grim Grimora. This is Leshy, this is P03, and this is Magnificus. Let's go, let's go to Leshy. We're at least familiar with the concepts of Leshy. Does it say two does not equal three? Can I interact? Oh, I can interact with other things. You pried the chest open and found a card pack inside. You receive a beastly card pack. Oh my. So we know what the symbols mean. So this takes four blood, but it's a seven, seven. Oh, we don't know what this resource is. The leap bot will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. 
It's a zero two, but it costs some blue stuff. So, wait, what is this over here? Skella Magnus? After attacking, Skella Magnus perishes. If Skella Magnus's owner controls no Mox cards, Skella Magnus perishes. Wait, what? <laughs> This is a rare card, but I can I see what my deck is right now? I feel like I can't. Let's grab a leap bot. Well, what is this one? Wait. Oh wait, this this is Skella Magnus. So it's a four one that has brittle and poisonous. I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab this bones card. It's interesting. What is, what does this button do though? I don't even know which ones are magnificus magnificus cards. I, is there an indicator, Zach, that I should be looking at? Is that the blue? Oh, we get all, oh, we get all the cards permanently. So I don't have to select one here. Ah, okay, that's that's better. <laughs> Got it. So they're just added to our collection. Blue is PO3. That's what I thought. Okay. Let's talk to you. Dag Nabbit. That dang hound got herself lost again. You think you're getting past? Think again. Not till I get some proof my girl's all right. Hey, Stakes. Welcome. Okay, so we've got that. We've got the actual Leshy's house. Oh, what was the combination? Was it 273? It was. You take a stinking pile of meat from the safe. Amazing. I can't believe I remembered that. That was uh, that was quite the pull. Okay, this is the same thing as before. I remember how to do this. Oh, can I move this? Two of five. Four of five. Two of five. So this, this mole man is moving around. So we want to... We want to get them active. There we go. Drawer creaked open and you found a pack inside. All right, we get all the cards. Another beastly pack. We ended up with wolf cub we're familiar with. Another one of these. Another wolf club. Another leap bot. And a gem fiend. This looks like it's a Magnificus card, maybe? If Gem Fiend owners controls no Mox cards, Gem Fiend perishes. Okay. Cards are added to our collection. Oh, we got another card pack. Happy Sunday to you as well, Stakes. Happy Sunday indeed. Okay, more field mice. We got Hawkeral. Waterborne. Also, when Hawkeral is played, it provides an energy cell to its owner. Interesting. Okay. Okay, the gems are the Magnificus cards. Got it, Zach. And then we also got Buff Conduit. Other creatures within a circuit completed by Buff Conduit gain one power. Oh, so there's like a circuit mechanic. Interesting. And we got another gem fiend. Okay. I'm going to go talk to Leshy in a minute. I don't really want to mess about with it too much. Oh, there's a currency system? You wish to trade. You don't perchance have any pelts. No, that's a disappointing, but also I accept foils. 
I have no foils. For pelts, I can get another beast card. Okay, so we'll come back to this. Stop shaking. The only thing you have to fear is your own inadequacy. Behold me, I am Leshy, the scribe of beasts. <laughs> Never as convoluted as Yu-Gi-Oh. We share a desire for you to challenge me, but first... A duffel bag. I know what you're thinking. No, this is not my legendary camera, not the one I use to create beast cards. This one is a mere replica. You may use it to create photos of the beasts in these woods. My subordinates, the prospector, the angler, and the trapper, they each require a photo before they will consider battling you. Return to me when they are all defeated. Okay, we have a quest. It's uh, it, indeed, uh, indeed, Stefan, we, uh, we have Thanksgiving coming up, so I'm trying to get a head start on the week. Oh yeah, Ouroboros is in here. I didn't notice that before. If we could find eight pelts, that would probably be a good buy for, for reasons. Can't, can't imagine why, but let's, uh, let's see. We did all the things in here. So two does not equal three is what I think that says. Oh. Okay, we take a picture of you. Got it. Okay, oh, we gave it the meat, which allowed us to take a picture of it, which I presume is gonna let us maybe do the angler? No. No fish, no pass. Okay, so he needs a fish. Maybe this is gonna, oh, this is the dog from the prospector. Well, I'll be darned. That's my girl. I'll let you past me and into the yonder pond, but Dagnabbit, first we got a battle. Okay. Well, darn it all, your deck ain't right. Get ye at least 20 cards in it. Okay, uh, I haven't, oh, press tab. Okay, yes, my, my deck currently has zero cards in it. So I don't understand how this system works. What would autocomplete do? So autocomplete took most of the cards from here. What are, what is Each has their own set of rules, but it, it seems like you can mix and match, right? Cuz like there's wolf, wolf cubs in here. They put field mice in here. And they put this, this, this dude makes sense to be in here. Now I could go ahead and put some of these in here. Like this is the this is the full energy deck minus Horkal, which I don't know if we're gonna be able to use them. But let's let's go with a slightly a slightly askew deck so I can see how they mix. Yeehaw! You fixed it, now let's battle. Okay. Yep, I'm PO3, okay? You picked my starter deck. That means you have to learn to use energy. Yes, indeed. Do I really have to explain this to you? Yep, you do. At the end of the owner's turn, 49er will move in the direction inscribed by the starter. Okay, that's, that's 49er. At the start of each turn, you increase your max energy. Spend it or not, doesn't matter. At the start of your turn, your energy refills to the max. Okay, so this is like a standard, like, Hearthstone style. Each turn you get one more pip. Get it? 
Okay, so I like this one, because right now I have one energy, and I can just play you there. See that? You spent your energy to play the card, but you get it back next turn. Sick of hearing from me? Well, I'm sick of talking. I've got important work to do. You'll see me later. Okay, we've used that up. Now, what is... Okay, this is, this is the part that we click. Okay, so now we have two pips of energy. I probably should have blocked this guy. 49er moves the space. Okay, so they're slightly in the lead now. But we can do something like this. Bloodhound leaps over to block. Oh, I forgot that the Bloodhound does that. That's okay. These leapers are going to be problematic, though. Now we're at four. And these are all too expensive. That's not great. So we're going to take a little bit. Okay, 49er moves, which means it's going to die. Now we have enough for something bigger. We have five now. Oh, that's right. The Bloodhound moves over to Leap. But that'll block this from coming in, so I think that's okay. So I can move this guy, but then this guy comes in and gets the kill. That is a that is a thick droid indeed. I think I want to get rid of the bloodhound, so I'm gonna let the droid die into it. Yeah, that's fine. Summoning something else would have ruined that, and then I think. I'll just do that. This guy's going to come in and get the kill, but I don't really care. Now I can play this here. There we go. And I think we I think we have the win now. Yeah, we do. There we go. Okay, that was I understand what's going on there. I I like the consistency of this deck. Fair is fair, you beat me. Like a dog. Take this. Some say these here cards are better in gold. Okay, another beast pack. Ah, we picked up Mantis God. Picked up Factory Conduit. Empty spaces within a circuit completed by Factory Conduit spawn Leap Bots at the end of the owner's turn. Leap Bots are zero twos, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. Okay, and then the Bones mechanic appears to be that. Yeah, Mantis God is is good news. But now, I don't understand how we mix decks. That's the thing that I'm a little baffled by. Okay, so, wait, so two people are telling me about the hammer icon. The hammer icon that was on your left in the battle screen is used to destroy your robots. Ah, that's useful. That would have been very handy. So let's see. So if we come in here... We have more conduit cards. I'm, I, I really wanted to see this one come up so I could see how I could summon it. I don't think we need a lot of leap bots. Wow, we have so many leap bots in the deck. I think I'd rather have automatons. I may regret that if we end up coming up against some flying stuff, but... Onward. Ah, I bet I'm... Okay, so this is... Let's see. Oh, so we take a picture of some fish, but also... Place the photo of bait on the line. Oh, this is photo of bait, not photo of a fish. Sure. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so that's going to... Can I fight you? Can I talk to you? No, it looks like this is just to get to the angler. Did I miss anything else in here? I love the eyes in the woods as a side note. What uh, what else do you have going on? The way to yonder pond is clear. Okay, nothing else going on there. I think we've done all this. So now we get to fight you. Fish. Fresh fish. Did 
There's a great white in the freshwater pond. I don't know if that's literal or figuratively. Uh, still must beat. Okay, here we go against the angler. So I think I can play... Well, I can't play this yet. I'm just going to do this to, to block for the time being until I can do better. Salmon moves to a new space. That's fine. Oh, okay. So I don't have any blood, but maybe I can get some blood. Oh, the automatons are expensive. That's interesting. Oh, so I can still sacrifice here. I don't want to, but I can. Noted. So right now they're out damaging me. Oh, that's out. That's awkward. The order of moving kind of messed me up there. Interesting. Yeah, so we don't have a lot of cheap stuff anymore. That's probably going to prove problematic for us. We don't have a great way to kill the salmon either. Oh, and there comes another salmon. That's going to be bad. We're going to have a hard time with this fight, I think. Right now our deck is a little a little expensive. Yeah, two salmon is is too many salmon. I fear. We have 5 energy, which means we can do we can do you, but you're not that useful. I guess we do that and we keep trying to tip the scales. Yeah, so we can sacrifice machines. If we wanted to. Maybe we do. Maybe we want to sacrifice this. So at least we get something going, because otherwise that was just going to die. We're close. I think we have the win. Because we summon this here. And then it doesn't matter what happens. We do three and that gets the kill. Okay. Excess damage. Oh, you get foils for excess damage. Okay, we should uh, we should think about that. You beat, you pass. First, take more beast cards. Okay, so we picked up a grizzly, another one of these. We have like three of these now. Another buff conduit, but we also picked up a bolt hound. So bolt hound is a lot like the bloodhound. It's just different, uh, different energy. So let's see. Me work continue find fish for Leshy. Hey, uh, sickas, welcome, welcome to the stream. So I wanted to see if there was, like, actually a Great White that I could collect here, but it doesn't look like it. There just happens to be a shark in the pond. All right. So let's go back, and I think, can we move beyond the fisher person now? Yes, we can. Okay. This looks like the trapper, if ever I've seen it. Uh, I don't really want to step in the trap, but maybe I need to. Let's go to the chest first, I guess. Patches of dried blood cracked as you pried the chest open, but two packs were inside. Okay. Show me Ouroboros. <laughs> okay, we picked up a cat, which I think I could actually be still useful here. Rest is pretty uninteresting. Another bolt hound. I might, I might think about trying to find a way to work bolt hound in. Another one of these. Hover mage. We'll strike an opponent directly, even if there's a creature. Okay, so it's just flying. Okay. So I kind of feel like I have to do... I, okay, yeah, I think I have to push this so that the rabbit decides to get into it. Okay. 
okay. You're not... You're not doing... It definitely came over here before. Oh, okay. My plan is foiled and my day is ruined. <laughs> oh, get wrecked. Ha ha! Okay, gotcha. You can guide the bunny, really? That comes as a surprise to me. All right, so I think we have... I think that means we have all the pictures, or is the trapper somewhere down in here? See your eyes over here. Okay, can't leave over that way. Oh, was that a pelt that we just got? Is that what that was? Oh, the trapper was back in the house. Point taken. You have brought a pelt. I am pleased. Yet another turn of the skinning knife. It is time to set another trap. Oh, that was creepy. Oh, head turn. I smell the hair's blood on you. Okay, so we picked up a trap card, but now we get to fight. I should have adjusted my deck, potentially. I think we'll just do that to block the damage. I think this will attack and then move, so I want it here so it doesn't attack into the burrowing trap. Oh, okay. Oh, it, it moves. It doesn't matter. Okay. Put that there. Might as well. Okay. The rats do some work on us, for sure. We're at four. We can get rid of one of the rats. Uh, it is not uh, Wet Penguin. This is uh, some type of phase two that we're currently experiencing. Uh... We uh we completed the game and now we are uh now we are in some type of new game mode. I think we might be dead though on this fight. Hmm. Too expensive a deck. So let's see. We have too many thick we have too many expensive cards. These automatons were way more expensive than I thought they were going to be. Bolt Hound is similarly expensive, but I like it more than Thick Droid. So let's uh, let's get some Bolt Hounds in there. These buff conduits are all really bad for actual damage. But maybe just some Leap Bots. Keep an Automaton or two and maybe one of those. And I'll put that one in. Let's try this deck. I I don't know how I would have known it, Stefan, but I set the trap, but only the prey decides when to snap the trap. All right. I don't know if there's value to getting this out here. Maybe there is. This, yeah, this deck is, uh, this deck is a little tough. To make, uh, to make it work. Well, we are, we are committed at this point. Uh, for better or worse. Let's see. So I think 
doesn't matter where we put you, except this will protect the most. And then I think we just put you here to absorb some damage. Until we can get some stronger things out there. This, this will beat both of these rats, so I think it's good, but... Takes all six. We're very much in the danger zone. Now we can get rid of this. We talked about that. And we have enough to summon everything, so I think we do this. I hate that this raven is coming in. But I think we have enough damage now to... To make it work? Oh, we don't. We lose. Because the burrowing trap blocked all of our folks. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know that I would change my deck at the current point. At this current point. I think that was just we were close and didn't quite get it. Winter Wonderland, Stefan. Sounds delightful. I like winter as a general uh, rule of thumb. So let's see. So this time around... Very, very bad draw on the hand here. I think we might as well block this. Put in, we won't be able to put in some damage because of that. Because it's just going to keep blocking us. Let's get this one down. Yeah, so, so this burrowing trap basically means that we don't do any damage until the burrowing trap is dead. Which means we're going to be taking some. Which is going to be a little tricky. We can we can chump block here, get a damage in here. We know that a raven is coming eventually. That felt like a very Game of Thrones thing to say, uh, but I think we do that. So, okay, so this will kill this thing and then block this one if we put it here. go. We're going to take one, which I think is okay. But the raven is, is slightly worrisome, to be sure. Now if I put this here, maybe we're okay. Okay, I think we're I think we've stabilized. <laughs> Close. Yeah, we're we're we've stabilized. So as long as they don't summon anything, we're okay. None of these do us any good. The ravens are coming. Alright, we get some foil out of it. We did indeed survive. All right. The trap has been shut, yet the prey escapes, and the trapper waits for the next victim. You've defeated the three of us now. Leshy awaits. All right. Got a mole man, a wolf cub, a grizzly, a new 49er, which I'll probably put into the deck because it's cheap, and a null conduit. You wish to trade? We have no pelts. Wait, why does that what does that wiggle our foil thing? I thought we had a pelt. Hmm. So 
Excuse me. All right, so we, we need to figure out a currency solution here, but I guess it's time to... Let's, let's change up our deck, if we can. I mean, we could put in... I mean, Mantis God for one still seems really good. I wonder when we're going to get into into sacrificing cards. Okay, so I want to I want to think about a different way of approaching this deck. I'm going to put in the leap bots, but what if we put in like a few a few blood cards? We're generating some bones. Are either of these good? Not great. Don't know about that one yet. We can put in the, the Hockles. Put in the Bloodhounds. The 49ers, I said, were cheap. So let's get those going. And then... Gosh, the Beasts have so much more... This is this is very experimental. Uh, conduit. I don't know. Let's put some conduit cards in. Soon we're gonna fight. You had bested the unhinged prospector, the gromless angler, and the enigmatic trapper. You found yourself standing before your ultimate match. Fleshy, scribe of the beasts. Your ambition is to replace PO3? Good. Though if you do not defeat me, you will not get that chance. Steal yourself, for my beasts will show you no mercy, only fangs. Do not spare your creatures, my camera is waiting to capture them at the moment of their demise. And my beasts are famished. Okay, so here's what I think we do. We put down the Leaper, sacrifice the Leaper to get that out. That provides us an energy cell, which buys us time here. Sorry for the siren. Okay, then the Adder is going to get the kill there. There's not much we can do about that. Put this in just to put some damage in, I think. What's uh, what's going on with this board being missing? I'll need a photo of that one's cost. Okay. Okay, oh, and you're actually going to be just fine, aren't you? That's nice. Put that there just to buy us some time. This seems like it's going well. Famous last words. Hawkill emerges from the deep. So, so if I put this down, we gain I gain an energy from that. But it doesn't look like I actually do. I'm presuming this fight has multiple phases also. One moment before that one dies. I'll need to capture its stats. Uh-oh. I feel like the card I'm about to get from this is based on the three cards that I lose. It's sigils. Okay, that will do. The deaths of your creatures will form a beautiful mosaic. Okay. I can't help but wonder if he gets the card that was just created or if we do. Okay, so phase one over. You won't be needing those. I have something better. You must like them. <laughs> Though the stitch work is my own, they are your cards. I kind of was worried that I was going to get a zero too. Now put them to the test. My beasts uh, enjoyed a varied diet. Okay, yeah, I was, I, I was worried that might happen that way. Maybe I should have put one of these there as a chump blocker. Uh, 
That grizzly bear is going to be a little annoying. Okay, they could be worse. Now we just have to start putting in some actual damage before we run out of chump blockers, I think. Okay, I think we might have this one in hand. Ah, that second bear is certainly going to complicate things a little bit. <laughs> um... Not excited about the cat showing up. Okay, we get it though. Nice. The great scribe was incredibly bested. Far away, a light enveloped a long forgotten monument. Okay. Oh. I wonder if that means we can go back and switch starter decks to, to be on the Leshy deck now? You had triumphed narrowly avoiding the tooth and claw of the scribe of beast uh, the scribe of beasts was defeated. That you were able to defeat me, uh beggar's belief. But now I must yield to you. My only regret is that our battle was so brief. Surely the summit of victory is made sweeter by a more arduous ascent. You received a beastly card pack. Want to buy Ouroboros? Okay. Nothing of interest there. Okay, nothing of interest there. Oh, battery low. 